my message is just to say like, hey people, have you ever thought of yourself as a tarantula? Like what if tarantulas, what if tarantulas were the bigger, bigger species? And what if we were tiny? Like what if, how would you feel if you got stepped on? First of all, I'm gonna go start with, here, I'll start with the non-tarantula stuff. So my mom says that sometimes I have to go a little away from my alley because there's not gonna be a whole lot of stuff just based on spiders. Um, these are my Madagascar hissing cockroach is that um, was gifted to me. I don't even try to name them anymore. Like, I already named some of them, but I can't tell who's who. Except Lil, she's the biggest and she's girl. Okay, this is a wild catch from the 2017 conference that I went to. And I caught her all by myself. She's just standing on the road. She's a chocolate millipede. Now we're gonna start with the tarantulas. This is MJ, well, Michelle Jacqueline. They call her MJ. My, uh, she's named after Michael Jackson, because I love oh. Michelle Parker White, and she's both. She is a Brazilian, uh, not a Brazilian, Costa Rican zebra stripe. She has some tarantula too, like sometimes she'll be really calm and sometimes she'll be like, a wild tarantula and she'll think that your arm is a tree and then she'll start crawling up you and jumping off of you. This is Ruby Sue and she is a gold, a Mexican golden red rump. Here's another wild catch when I got it at this year's conference. She's hiding right now, but you can see some of her legs right here. She's an Arizona blonde tarantula. I have two, that was also confirmed and she's the exact same species. Except she wasn't caught, I bought her. Hmm. This is Rapunzel. I named her because she had, because Rapunzel has blonde hair. Yeah. But she does have long hair. Oh, right. So this is Lox. She is a salmon pink bird eating tarantula. She will get to be the size of an inner plate. So she's gonna be big. Right now she's super tiny, but. Um, right now, oh, there he is, they're all in the open. He's usually a scary cat. This is Maui. This is my brother's spider. Okay. It's a curly hair tarantula. And it's gonna get to be about like Rosie's size. Maybe slightly bigger. And last but not least, Rosie Posey. She um, is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. I love to treat all of my pets like people. This, I think that's Lil Nelf. They're both like fighting, they're fighting each other. Why do you keep sticking your rump at her? Alf, that is very impolite. Rude there Jesus. she is. Now she's a little, she's kind of, oh, she's putting her hands up. She's like, oh, are you on a roller coaster? <laughs> I love to play with my tarantulas like that. And sometimes I play sidewalk. Rapunzel, where like I put one hand in front of the other and they'll just walk pretending like it goes on forever and ever when really they're just stepping on the same hand over and over. Yeah. I like to think of them as like my children. So that's my, that's my daughter. That's my daughter, Rapunzel. I can't exactly sometimes change people's emotions. Like if they don't love, love spiders, they don't love, love spiders, but I can at least change their actions. So you can keep a distance away from them. You can, but like, just don't hurt it. She's not that shy. She's just, she's just sweet. I just want to be in her tank. So her head is kind of a sense of the part. So but what color is it? The color of it is like a rosish pink. That's Ooh. why they're called Chilean, um, Chilean rose hairs. Their hair isn't really rose but the carapace sure is. And there are others like a really pretty brown. They each have their own like little personality. And if they want to be held or not, they're both really just very, very, very um, sweet creatures. They have very, very poor eyesight. So she will probably never really know that she was held by 
millions and millions of kids. Cause she probably just thinks she's been sitting on millions and millions of trees and rocks. So they might not know you're there, but you should know that they're there. I truly think without spiders and tarantulas, I don't think it'd be so good.